guys, it's Tracy Mitchell, VA, back again with another interview. Today, I'm representing This Is 50, and I'm here with Atlanta rapper T Hood. What? What's hey, that what's name? going on? What's going on? Um, I'm so happy because I'm located in Atlanta, and I'm actually interviewing an Atlanta artist. <coughs> You're not just so ordinary Atlanta artist. You are somebody that's very well respected in the A, and people love your music. And on top of that, you got a hot song right now called Percolator. It's making so much noise. Um, every time I see the song on Instagram, it's <laughs> face down, ass up on Instagram time. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Yeah, yeah. So um, first off, congratulations to you and the success of Percolator. Let's break down some numbers. So your music video is currently at 76,000 views. Yeah. Shout out to you. And it was released in January. So that's a very big deal. You also have production by um, very respected producers, DJ Plug and Bobby Critical behind it. Yeah, Plug, plug my older brother. Okay, there it is. See, you're already, already plugged and um, you're also respected in Atlanta. Before we get into the conversation, can you tell me like how you got your start in music? When was it? And um, how you got the you know success you did? Um. Well, more so just, you know, my brother with my brother being uh so so here at first with music, you know what I'm saying? He just made me be like, yo, nigga, like he telling me like, bro, you need to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I was doing so much other different little stuff, like he just like, well, you need to do music, you know what I'm saying? Because you are around it too much, you know what I'm saying? We around our kind of I was around Depot Wheel, a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, people who was popping franchise, a whole bunch of folks, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. When I was younger, you know what I'm saying, knowing a whole bunch of different little people who's already in the game, you know what I'm saying. So then, she, he like, bro, you write it too much. You, you know what I'm saying. Maximize. You feel me? So I was like, you right. You know? yeah. You're saying that. You, you right. You know what I'm saying. That's the way I look at it too. Like, you right. <laughs> yeah. So Atlanta is flooded with rappers, but thankfully. Um, you had a song that really stood out to everybody, you know, had people moving. Um, it's called Percolator. It samples the, I don't know when the song was released, but back in the day, there was a song that, uh, what is it called, the original? Percolator. Percolator. So you kind of just turned it into your own thing, you know. Um, I turned it into a new wave. Like, basically, I put, you know, the, the original is from house music, Chicago style music. Like, you know what I'm saying, Midwest, Midwest. So... What I did was was I was like, you know, you know the little video that used to be on the on the gram and uh, the guy used to have a little percolator and he was like, time for the percolator. The dude was in the hospital. So we had went to the studio one day. We went to um my buddy K Camp studio. And um we were sending that bit. And dude, we just kept talking about that. Then they went in there and flipped the beat. I'm like, I came and I was like, bro. Y'all give me this, bro. I'm about to go crazy on this one. No okay. cap. Like, I'm not, as soon as I get on this one, it's up. You know what I'm saying? So I kept thinking, like, how can you, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I got to start turning turning my song. I was doing number trap music. So I'm like, I got to start doing some stuff for the girls a little bit. But still for the, you know what I'm saying, dudes to respect it. So that's why I made it about, you know, like, like drugs and dancing. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's just what, what came with it. You know what I'm saying? It was. It was a good feel. Yeah. I loved it. And I'm sure you love the song. And I'm sure you're just, you know, proud of yourself that, you know, you believe that you could hop on that track and turn it into something and like maybe like elevate or boost your career, which it did. Man, like it's so, it's so crazy because I never thought that, like I never expected it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, when I did the song, the song was like a fun song. Like it was like something funny. Like it was just doing it just to, you know what I'm saying? Just laugh at it, you know what I'm saying? Between us, you know what I'm saying? And then when I did it, they like, bro, you gotta put this one out, bro. I'm like, all right, we put it out. No, we played it in the club first. Folks going crazy. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. They was working like one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, like that. Yeah. So they like, yeah, like they love it. So I'm like, all right, bet. So we just, you know what I'm saying, kicked it up a notch. Mm -hmm. and, and then um it just went from there that's just how it was you know what i'm saying yeah you even dropped merch um oh know. yeah because that's what i do like the merch and all that like that come with the that come with the package of being of, of your single it should be you know what i'm saying like when you're doing a single it, you should always drop merch or mm -hmm. something to go along with it you know what i'm saying and, you know uh i, I want to uh 
I want to, you know, say that to some of the younger uh, artists coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, when y'all drop their music, man, like, get them folks something to buy. Like, get them folks a shirt, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're not going to sell it, because I, I, I nine times out of ten don't sell my merch. I give my merch away. So, when you, uh, my bad. It's okay. Um, Stay comfortable. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. You can see me real good. Yeah, perfect. All right, so when you, um, when you said when you when when you got this merch and it's like I try to make my merch like a clothing line looking merch or like you know what I'm saying something that people can wear on the daily you know what I'm saying so when you doing them singles like you got to give away something to them DJs you know what I'm saying and to the people that supporting it you know what I'm saying just to keep the the fuel on it you know what I'm saying because a lot of people just put the song out and be like oh yeah shit there you go and then like you know what I'm saying what about when they go home you know what I'm saying or when they you know what I'm saying on the road or traveling or when they DJing or when they doing anything that they're doing on a normal basis you want to make sure that they got a hat a shirt you know what I'm saying maybe a jumpsuit you know what I'm saying I gave DJ shoes you want to make sure DJ got shoes you know what I'm saying like it's just stuff like that you know what I'm saying just staying creative and staying like in tune with the people more you know what I'm saying and you didn't only just like ride the success of the song, like you made sure you made it a movement and you like really gave Atlanta, Atlanta something to be proud of. Um, yeah, you know, I, I can tell by like the comments of like, uh, you know, like shout out to the city girls. Like when they dropped Twerk later, I seen the comments of, of the fans and the different people from uh, just not only Atlanta, but just like different, you know, people who support, you know what I'm saying? The song and support me. I seen with my own two eyes, you know what I'm saying, that the real, uh, you know, just just the real fans, I saw them, you know what I'm saying? Like they supported, they stood on that, they stood on what was going on and I respected that. It just helped, it just helped my mind go into a different level for me to understand like now I'm becoming a superstar. Neighborhood star was one thing, but now it's like you got to become a superstar, bro. These people, these people in, in different countries that was like, hold on, bro, this ain't right. Bro fucking with you, you know what I'm saying? Or they fucking with the movement and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, I've actually experienced stories before of just artists um, shopping around their music and uh, record label picked it up and it got into the hands of somebody bigger than them. And then, you know, it just turns into a whole situation. But you posted on Instagram a few days ago. Um, it was actually the Twerculator cover art. Um, City Girls Twerculator dropped on Friday over the weekend. And it was highly anticipated. It was taking over TikTok. Um, definitely already like playing in the club. Girls, the same thing, uh, face down, ass up. Like it's just something about, you know, that hook or that uh, sample that really gets people moving. So you um you kind of opened up on Instagram after a long time that people expected. Um, just saying how you feel about the song and how you feel like you kind of deserve maybe some type of like credit from um, quality control. So you just want to go ahead and talk about the post, especially where you say how you've been working your song for over a year and then this happens, dot, dot, dot. So let's get into it. Basically, um, well, let me, let me say this. One, I, uh, I salute city, city Girls. I like City Girls, you know what I'm saying? For what they do in the club, they make the club feel amazing. I love, I love City Girls, you know what I'm saying? I love music, uh, love what quality control did, did for the culture, you know, the baby, Migos, Bugatti, everything, you know, OG Macro, I love all that, Johnny Tico, all that, I love it. One thing I can say, and this, this is a fact, that there was, there was no sample twerk songs before my song other than uh, one plays on, she ain't nothing but a hoochie mom, you know what I'm talking about? The, uh, right. One song that they, they and they had kind of like a similar situation going on with that song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the song with him and Jaja, one play. Uh, I forget the name of the song, but it was big. Mm-hmm. And it was a sample mixed in with a twerk club vibe. You feel what I'm saying? Boom. I, I do a sample twerk club vibe song. But I'm from Atlanta, but I sampled something house music, which is from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Nobody else in Atlanta done it before. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody was thinking about no percolator, twerkulators, now later none. Nobody was thinking about none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like only thing that people was focused on was if you was making a twerk song, it was like, you know, just basic twerk. You know what I'm saying? You telling people, you know what I'm saying, how you want it, like uh, 
like I, I like I respect club guys um wave a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because he got the, you know what I'm saying, the dance twerk feel, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people was trying to follow his way, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I never seen nobody say there was it was time for anything, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't I ain't see it. You feel what I'm saying? So when the song got leaked or whatever, you know, back when it got leaked or whatever. It was like, whatever, you know, it's cool. It's cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, I'm an artist and I'm a grind, you know what I mean? But nobody sampled nothing from Chicago with a twerk feel, with a with a trap feel, with the hard 808s like that. Nobody did that until I did that, you feel what I'm saying? So that's what, that was, that was, I wasn't saying I hate city girls or, you know, any type of fashion. I was saying, hey, whoever, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure they don't even write the music. They faces other music, you know what I'm saying? If they do write the music, that's lit, you know what I'm saying? But nine times out of 10, you know, I work with plenty of girl artists. When you work with girl artists, you know, nine times out of 10, they get assistance, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just, they be very beautiful and they be faces of the music. But a lot of girls, sometimes they just need guidance on the music, you know what I'm saying? And dudes too, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna sound sexist, but you know what I'm saying? But it's just mainly, it's just facts. Like when you in a studio with a girl, every girl artist I ever worked with, they always had somebody there with them, like, you know, this is this, or say this, or don't say that, or, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what it was, you know what I'm saying? Even with, like, Nicki Minaj, the biggest girl artist ever. Mm -hmm. Safari assisted her, you know what I'm saying? Or her winning, you know, she winning still, but, you know, when them days when it was, like, crazy, he was assisting her, you know what I'm saying? Wish I ain't nothing wrong with that, because I done had people write music for me before, too. But I feel like the writers, heard or they got you know what i'm saying because in the, at, the, at the end of the day you can't go anywhere in atlanta and not hear from uh -huh. so in the pandemic everything else is shut down i'm the only thing atlanta is the only thing that's popping so any artist from any city washington dc miami california texas tennessee wherever you're from you come into atlanta because atlanta's wide open yes so if you come to atlanta where where i'm at and the scene wide open and you can't go no club, you can't go to no club without hearing my song. What they tell you, somebody got a whiff of it. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody, whether it's the writers or the or 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 the, or the performers. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, even if they didn't, even if they didn't say, oh, we're gonna do something like this. When you when you heard the song, when you did the song, you knew like I heard something like this before. And that's what that's what that's what my thing was, you know what I'm saying? And what I was saying was, you know, I was like, man, you know, I would love for them to get on a remix of my song, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you know, support my song, not just take the shine away from my song, you know like, what I'm saying? Make your own song, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't beef with no girls, I can't fight no girls, I can't say fuck you, I can't do none of you, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't, you know what I mean? Even if it was a part of the situation like that, I wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? Because you're working, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, you know. When you're independent and you're grinding with, with, with no label or no financial advisors, no fucking, uh, you know, treasurers, no, you know what I'm saying? No consult, none of that. I don't have none of that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm coming from the bottom. Mm -hmm. When you see people like that, I feel like as a, as a mainstream artist, you shouldn't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you it's almost like. It should be an automatic yeah. like kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like. You see what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Because you was there one day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You've been there, you've been down that road. So you know it's a bumpy road. You know what I'm saying? You got these luxury tires now, you know not to go back down that road. Mm -hmm. But you know, for some reason you want to double back and like, you know, like make it harder for the other people to come up the street. Mm -hmm. It just it just don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And when I see other artists that are, you know what I'm saying, I'm not saying like I'm just big as fuck, but when I see other artists that are on, on, on beginner stage or grinding and coming up under me, mm -hmm. I lift them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I've been, you know what I'm saying? Like I was the first rapper, like I like I told, I said on Instagram earlier, I was the first rapper to ever do a song with the Migos. Ever. This is before anybody. You know what I'm saying? I was the first person to, you know what I'm saying? And, and I have lifted them. You know what I'm saying? As well as other artists that are that are hot right now, mainstream. When I first met them, a lot of people don't be as hot. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people might not even like you, you know what I'm saying? But I'd be like, man, this nigga grinding. Mm -hmm. I don't even like the music sometimes, but I'd be like, man, I like this nigga working. Yes. Or these people, you know what I'm saying? They they just like me. 
So I uplift you, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like I should have been uplifted, you know what I'm saying, more than tore down, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like with P and Coach K being so big and big empires for Atlanta City, yes. culture also with the music, I just felt like it should have been done differently. You like there should have also been like some type of like protecting in a way because like you said like they understand what because it's is. Atlanta yeah yeah like we should all have each other's back here right um I want to ask you so because your song was released in August the video was released in January and Twerkulator just dropped over the weekend um I feel like there was like some type of like anticipation in Atlanta like okay when is T Hood gonna say something because what took you so long to actually come out on Instagram and be like okay I publicly like I have an issue with this. I really don't have no issue with it. I really just want to, I just want us to, you know, get a connection and get an understanding of what's going on. Mm -hmm. I want them to understand that that I'm un, I'm independent and I've been trying to, you know what I'm saying, do this, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to grind, you know what I'm saying? And I, I really don't want nobody to take anything from me, you know what I'm saying? And with them having a bigger platform, it's possible. It's not impossible, it's possible, you know what I'm saying? And anybody that paints a picture, if somebody stand next to me and paint down there the same picture, and you trying to sell this picture, they rich, you know what I'm saying, Picasso, and you independent, and you want to sell this and try to get where they at, you gonna get it kind of, you gonna get kind of offense, you know, you gonna get, you know, like, why you why you just offend your own shit? You know what I'm saying? Because you already been doing big pieces. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I don't know, you know, I just I just feel like things should just be done differently. I, I love City Girls, I love Atlanta, I love everybody, you know. I love it. Uh, they from Florida. I love the Florida scene. Like I love all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's music. You know, at the end of the day. But you know, uh, what I'm in it for is more so the legacy. I ain't really into this shit for the money. You know what I'm saying? If the, you know, you want the money. That's what you want to do. That's cool. Right. But I want to leave a mark. You know what I'm saying? For the city. So what would make you feel better <clears throat> about all of this? Um, I saw somebody in the comments say, like, how about you just put him as a feature on a remix? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I would love to do music with them. Because I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Like with me, you know, I'm a male artist, but I'm actually a fan of what they do. You know what I'm saying? I love the, I love the club scene. So when City Girls come on, I love what they do. You know what I'm saying? I actually seen them perform for uh, one of my close friends, Cash, uh, with the Broke Baby songs. One of my, one of my close friends, you know, I love what they did to his record. You know what I'm saying? That shit was amazing. Um, you know, I don't know what could be done. To, you know what I'm saying? It just, you know, I just want some support. You know what I'm saying? The way that I support others. You know what I'm saying? Brother, it's a shout out and be like, you know, anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, it just, I just want it to be our love. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want it because you know the fans they are twisted up so much to where they make it like it's like disrespectful as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes. It's, it don't be as big as you make it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I just want some type of support, you know, hey, you know what I mean? A phone call or something, you know what I'm saying? We can just, you know what I'm saying, right? Even if I don't get that, I still love and support, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. All about support with you. And like you said, you just care about legacy when it comes to career, your career and not right. so much money. Right, right. So um, if there's any other last words you would like to say about this, like definitely let it out. But aside from just... The situation going on and um well your current you know post uh so what else do you have on the way that you want to at least get people hyped up for um shit <coughs> Damn, <right. coughs> uh, um i got I, i'm working on a lot of different things like i got an independent movie that i'm gonna drop um I got a book that I'm trying to do for these uh, independent artists, you know what I'm saying, to tell them, you know, the experiences of, of being an independent artist, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I got projects from the drop uh, with Cash J. Uh, I got projects with DJ Jordan, Bobby Critical, the whole Flesh Guy uh, company and family. I got some of the DDOT from the drop, uh, D Sims. I got all kind of music that's gonna drop, you know what I'm saying? It's probably just already done. Summertime will be real good for me. <laughs> what is something you want people to know about T Hood that they don't already? Um I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm just a different motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? 
Like I just, I try to, I try to, I try to paint the picture the way it needs to be painted from my angle, you know what I'm saying? And get people to, you know, view it from my angle, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. I'm just a different kind of dude, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I see a lot of people, you know, kind of like shift with the with the game, but when the game shifts, I go the other way, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like how I always been. That's why I feel like I never really stepped into the scene as much because I always, when niggas was doing one thing, I always wanted to do another thing. You know what I'm saying? I could I, I could have got signed plenty of times. Different mm -hmm. shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, even like when Migos got signed to QC back in the day, I was right there for that situation. Mm -hmm. I could've I could have I could have got in. I ain't, you know, I ain't want to. You know, they asked me like, bro, you we got a situation, you know, you know what I'm saying? We can work you in right now, you know what I'm saying? We can get you in there. It's like they did for Rich, it's like they did for Skip, just like they did for a couple of other people all together. So I just, I kind of I kind of told them, like, I kind of do it, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of want to find my own path, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's that's what I did, you feel me? I had a, a different, couple different little situations, you know what I'm saying? People came to me and tried, you know what I'm saying? You know, tried to sign me, a couple artists, you know what I'm saying? Rappers tried to sign, but I just, I just seen, Myself doing my own shit. I, I see myself having my own artist, having my own label, having my own uh, film company, having my own videographer company, you know what I'm saying? My own everything. I, I, I want to see myself in my own shit. So I really don't want to work for nobody. That's why I just strive for independence and for, keep trying to tell artists before you go sign your life away just to get yourself hot. You know, you can really grind, you know what I'm saying? Ground up and really, you know what I'm saying? Be independent and really get something going, you know what I'm saying? Right, but when the actual bigger situation um, presents itself, then you might. You oh know, yeah, if, if that money come, if that big money come, you need to take that money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna never tell you, oh no, nah, fuck the money. But when they when they offer you, you know what I mean, little money. You know what I'm saying? Know your value. You know what I'm saying? If you take ten thousand, then you a ten thousand dollar ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you settle out, you you be like, hold on, for a million, you a million dollar nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way I look at it, like. Fuck I look like I know the value of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're a package, you're a package. Right. When you're in shit for a play, you're a play. It's, it's however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I just I try to keep game to some of the niggas that I be around, you know what I mean? <coughs> <coughs> Everything from experience, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, I'm trying to do a book right now. And and that's gonna explain, you know, using your brain. You know what I'm saying for longevity before you, you know what I'm saying, try to hurry up and do something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of time, you know what I'm saying, it works out for people who just do something. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it works. Mm -hmm. But if you see value in yourself and you'll hold out on, on you know, just jump on the first thing. Right, right. I'm glad I'm so glad you know your worth. I'm so glad that you you're confident in your career. And aside from just your plans of you know, like releasing music, you're also trying to help the underground as well. And possibly protect them from, you know, art and yeah. get into like different hands, like the situation you're going through, like just protecting them for something like that too. I'm sure because of this happened to you, now you have more information for your book and like more ways to help the underground. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's from experience. <clears throat> I'm giving you my point of view. And I'm gonna explain it, you know what I'm saying, in the book. Like this is this is not how every situation goes. This is just my experience. <laughs> you really impressed me today. Um, how you handled everything, especially the post too. The post was on no disrespectful type of time. Just you simply right. saying, like, hey guys, I know you've been where I'm at. So let's like see how we can help each other. And that was just really right. big of you. And I appreciate you even like sharing the story with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my, I'm I'm big on trying to uplift. Uh, women artists anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of artists that that are that are women, they don't really get as much shine. So, you know, as as men, if you if you you want to call yourself a real man, you know, just, just uplift them on what they're doing. That's their career, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just that's the only reason I kept it with no disrespect. Man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want to make it seem like I'm bitter or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just want to speak it, speak your mind. You know what I'm saying? If y'all already thinking like, oh, you think of something. You know what I'm saying? It was it was bound to come out like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's never no disrespect. And you had to speak your mind, but at the end of the day, you're still winning. <laughs> the song is still a hit, Percolator. Still, yeah, still Percolator's still doing great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, well, and, I, and, I, and I want to thank God, you know what I'm saying, live. I want to thank God for that, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it ain't had to be like that. 
Yeah, you didn't even mean to do that. And that's the best part about making music or art. When you release something and it does way bigger than what you ever thought yeah. it could do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much. Everybody go stream Percolator by T-Hood and also go stream the City Girls. You know, let's all just get this money. Let's just keep the world dancing, especially the world dancing. times. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Love and loyalty. All right, y'all. T-Hood, Tracy Mitchell, VA. This is 50. See you guys next time.